The structure of a proposal, bah, this is the last thing, and this is what I also want to focus on, is what should your proposal include, okay? And um, it should include definitely a title and the research topic. It should include an introduction, a purpose statement. It should include a preliminary assessment of the literature and a theoretical framework, not a full detailed description of the literature. That's not the stage. Just, um, uh, you know, um, introduc intro preliminary assessment, just you're assessing what, what other people have written about this topic. It should have a research question, objective and hypotheses. Justification and significance in the context of other work. What is, why is it important to research? And it should have a research design or method. You should tell your uh, professor that you have a certain design and that there is going to be some kind of data collected uh, based on that design. You should have an uh, outline of the thesis. A work schedule is very important and I stress that because we tend to make things drag. I would advise you to, ha to uh, um, organize, يعني, I mean have a timeline, have a timetable and try as much as possible to stick to, di to, to that timetable, otherwise you will find, uh, you'll end up, uh, I mean, um, ha spending a long time in, in your work. Uh, it should have something about the resources needed if you're doing a, a quantitative thing like equi equipment, software, or budget funding. It should have this in your proposal. Limitations, expected limitations, and Ethics and IRB. Ethics is if you're going to do a conduct a research on people, on students, for example, or on a population, you need to, um, um, to get the approval. The IRB is the Institution of Review Board. You need to get, I don't know if, if this is um, in, uh, in, in Cairo University or not, but you need to get approval that you are uh, conducting this <coughs> research on uh, certain students or hu any human beings. Okay, in your file, you have an, a sample of a research proposal template. And I have kind of color coded it so that it becomes easier for you to identify or the, the parts of it and, and the, the, the example. It has an example, just an example uh, for you to, to follow. So the research propo uh, proposal, as in the hand handout, starts by your um, um, by your professor's name and your name and the date, the subject, and then the proposed research topic. What is your topic? You provi uh, provide a brief description or descriptive title or a research question in this er part. The purpose. You need to put an introductory sentence that mentions your key topic concepts. Try to use a source that mentions a connection between your key terms in this area. So here we have the purpose, the proposed research topic. What you will do for your final project paper, and there is an example. Give reasons why you want to do this. What is, wh why do you intend to do that? and expand on the topic or question by describing how you hope to accomplish and what are the desired outcomes you predict you're going to get. Background, state who will observe, who you will observe. If you're going to do an observation or uh, a questionnaire, who are you going to send the questionnaire to? Who are your participants? And how by studying them you can accomplish your purpose? which is what you mentioned in the conclusion of the literature review. And this is, again, an example. So in here, in the background, you want to describe the context of the proposed research. Make it clear how this context will allow you to accomplish your stated purposes. The scope and theoretical framework is another section. The scope states how long and to what extent you will observe or survey or ask questions. So how long are you going to put your survey online, for example? The duration. And how long are you going to observe X or Y? 
The theoretical framework, as we mentioned before, is the approach. So briefly identify and explain the theoretical framework you will use to guide your investigation, how it fits your purpose and its implications for the research methods. For the procedure or process, you have to um, list, like make a list, like uh, conduct a literature review on blah, 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 observe the group. So this is the process or the procedure are the steps you are following during that um, research. This is the timetable I talked about or the timeline. It's very important to put yourself some, some uh, kind of timetable so that you can follow it. And you have like a goal. By the end of X, I will have finished, I will have prepared my proposal. By I don't know what, I will have completed my literature review and so on and so forth. Limitations, we need to explain the limitations. What problems are you anticipating you're going to have with your method of collecting the data? Like the size, the selection of people to the survey, the time to survey, etc. D, limitations, who are you not observing? Who are you excluding or not surveying from your research? And finally, end by a reference page. I think you'll find this interesting uh, when you get, uh, I mean, when you start working on your thesis proposal. It is a template. It's one of millions and millions of templates. But it has the broad, um, uh, I mean, sections that you need to cover when writing a research proposal. I thank you all, and I wish you all the best. And uh, please uh, do write beautiful proposals so you can get the scholarship from the Fulbright.